Hi, my name is Rob Nelson and I'm the author and creator of Sagela Image Editor and this is the intro screen. What I want to do here is I want to show you uh, some examples of what SageLite can do. Um, you can download a free trial and it's 30 days and it's the full version with uh, no nagging and uh, no information required. And so here I have an image that's pretty dark. And with these type of images you have to be really careful because in these highlight areas you can really blow those out very quickly. So what I can do is I can do an auto levels real quickly if I want to, but what I can also do is I can bring up the foreground light and then I can bring out the saturation and so you see that with one button click and two slider movements I've made maybe three slider movements to kind of bring some contrast into the situation that I have a file that is very different than the original file. It's I can add a border to it very quickly and then I can you know show it as a as a bona fide picture. And so you can see this picture looks very nice compared to the original picture. So let me show you a couple other things that SageLight can do. So what I can do is I can open up another file. And what I want to show is I want to show a lot of the new technology that's been de developed for SageLight. What you just saw, I may be going a little fast because I'm trying not to spend a lot of your time here. But one of the major things in SageLight is the ability to balance a file. This file, this image here, is obviously yellowed. And so what we can do is we can press the auto color and you can see that it immediately puts it into a really good uh, color balance. And then we can go ahead and we can add saturation and do quite a few other things that we might want to do with this particular file. This is one of the uh, strengths, one of the many strengths of Sage Light. And just to show you that it wasn't an accident, um, you know, just kind of got lucky on that one. Let me show you this one. Because a lot of editors, what they'll do is they'll do auto levels and that sort of thing. But this is really new technology. If you look in the Lightroom and other editors, they're really not doing this sort of level of, of work here. And so what you can see here is you can see that if I look at the before and after, it's very pronounced. This one has a lot of color compared to the original, and then that allows me to do a lot of things. So now I can add some saturation if I want to. It's preset these values for me so that I can make it a little cooler if I want to, or a little bit warmer. And so it really gives me a lot of flexibility, as opposed to if I started with the original one and then you know tried to add some color. Obviously, the color cast you know gets a little out of control and makes it harder to work with. And so that's one of the reasons that SageLight has a lot of strong color balancing tools, so that you can get the balance, and then you can work with the file, and then the image rather, and then really bring the color out. So now let me show you some other things that SageLight can do. What I can do here is I can take this file here, this old Impala, and what I want to do is it seems like it's kind of faded. What I want to do is I want to turn it into a deep red. And the first thing I can do is I can auto balance it. You can see that it's a little, with a little bit of cyan, the auto balance is, is helping it out. And then, like I said, it sets these values. And what I can do is I can even set them more to bring it a little more into the red. But what I can do is I can click on the car, and you can see it's really masked the red. And so what I can do is I can just really bring this down. And so you can see it's getting a deeper red, and I can add some saturation and some red, and then I can even change the hue a little bit to make it a little red, it's going a little bit of pinkish. And so you can see that I can go ahead and change the colors very easily. And then for areas where it got a little out of control, I could have just masked the red. I could have worked with a the mask. There's a lot of really powerful masking tools in Sage Light. But what I can do is I can just undo the parts that I didn't like with the undo brush. And then that way I have a much redder car, much more red car. And so I can keep on going with that. and just do a few things to really just bring out the red in, in this car. And so now already I have a picture that's quite different than the original picture. What I can do too is I can go ahead and I can add a vignette to the picture and really just to make it a little more moody. And I can, I can move the center of the vignette around. And so that's another example uh, of what you can do with masking. Let me show you something else about the masking. When I click on the screen to get the masking, what I can do is I have various types of masking, but it can show me the mask. What you have in SageLight that is new technology is what's called dynamic masking. So what I can do is I can play with the mask and I can move the mask around this way or I can move it around with the range and I can really see what I'm doing as I'm masking. So it's not like I have to draw the mask or, or select the mask and if I get it wrong I have to start over. I can actually edit the mask. I can 
uh, manipulate the mask in any number of ways while I'm editing the mask, and that just gives me a really good amount of power. So you can see already I've pretty much changed this color blue. I can change change it to really any color that I want to change it very easily, very quickly. And so there you can see that I even have a much different picture here than the original picture. Of course, I can go back easily, and then I can also zoom in to the picture very easily and get different viewpoints of it to see exactly what's going on with the picture. So one last example. You know, uh, SageLight is often compared to Adobe Elements and Adobe Lightroom. It's a very powerful editor and it, uh, that's really what SageLight is about, is about image enhancement. And here's a good example right here. Let me get rid of the histogram so we can see this picture. Take this picture right here, for example. I'm going to auto balance it, and for a second, it looks like it gets a little more pale. That's because it has kind of a pinkish tint to it, which was adding a color cast, so it made it look like it had more color. But in reality, it was a cast, which is very different than actually having color. So you can see that when I use the balance on it and then increase the saturation and then use this tool that was set for me, I have a much more interesting picture already. And so if you look at the original, you can see it goes a little pink there. And of course, I'm bringing out the saturation on purpose to emphasize the red in this picture. But there's another thing I can do too. There's a lot of functions in SageLight. And one of those functions, there's over 70 unique functions in SageLight. And one of those functions is the mixed channels. So what I can do is I, I just really want to bring out this red in her hair, for example. And what I can do is I can just go ahead and do that. And then I can use the undo brush. A lot of power that you get from editing is from layers and what this does is this allows you to use layers in a way where you don't have to worry about the layer itself. It's constructed a layer between you and the last image that you did or the last segment that you did and so you can do it this way or what I can do is I can start with what I had and then just brush in what I want to keep and so you can see already it's really making a huge difference and then what I can do is I can just subtly brush out areas that are overlapping. I could have masked her hair too, but this is just a, you can see this is a very, very quick way to mask uh, very accurately and to do different things. And so when you look at the before and after picture, you definitely get a, uh, a different picture. And then I can go ahead and work in this picture to bring out her eyes and, and other aspects of this picture. And to also I can also sharpen it with an unsharp mask and to bring out a lot of clarity. And then I can um, selectively keep parts of it that I want to keep and other parts that I don't want to keep. So that's a basic tour of SageLight in terms of these are three functions or four functions that you can do in SageLight, but there's also a number of functions. If you go to the website at www.sageLightEditor.com, you can see a lot more examples and you can also uh, download a 30-day trial, which is uh, completely free in the full version. And so thank you for listening and I hope you...